we are looking at a very large altarpiece by Matthias Grunewald. He's a contemporary of Durer, and they actually die in the same year, 1528. This is a large altarpiece that's located in Eisenheim, Germany, at a monastic hospital. This gives you an idea of the size and space. Grunewald is depicting a horrific nightmare that is happening here at Calvary. This is the view of the closed altarpiece with the outside pieces. This is a large crucified Christ, one like we have never seen before. Since this piece was from a chapel at the Hospital of St. Anthony, it was likely that anyone who was in the hospital would have seen this. So Grunewald takes this into account, and he depicts Christ with disfigured wounds and his flesh is being eaten away by a, a fungus skin disease so that onlookers might empathize and understand that Christ's suffering and they can rely on him. We notice that Christ's feet is curled around the nails in a very deformed manner. And look at his hands as they are pierced with the nails on the cross. They are in such agony that you can feel the pain of his hanging there. His arms are extended and his body is covered in sores. The other figures that are here at the foot of the cross with Christ is the white virgin, very unusual in black and white, with John the Baptist. And then we also have the lamb. And this reminds us of Jan van Eyck's adoration of the lamb, in which the lamb from the Old Testament is the sacrifice, the New Testament uh, fulfillment of the law. So we can make this link. John the Baptist is pointing to Christ as if saying, in a symbolic manner, the Messiah he's pointing to as the forerunner. He must increase, but I must decrease. On the side panels are St. Anthony and Sebastian, and they have been switched. We have a view of the open altarpiece, and they are all now permanently on display. These side panels are paintings by Grunewald. The middle one is a sculpture by Hagenauer. On the left, we have Paul and Anthony in the desert. And then on the right, we have The Temptation of Anthony, similar to Martin Schongauer's piece. This is a very sobering piece, one that those who are in the hospital of St. Anthony could find comfort in knowing that Christ understands their suffering.